Welcome to the Cat Doctor and Friends, my veterinary hospital. I am Dr. Tracy McFarland, and I'll be your guide throughout this video tour. You are entering our lobby with the cashier's reception to your right and the curving main reception counter to your left. When our hospital is open, three receptionists man this light-filled space to provide prompt, friendly service to our clients. The receptionists' years of experience and training allow them to answer common questions and to quickly recognize potentially serious medical problems over the telephone. Coming through an archway, you'll see our famous star wall. Each star celebrates one or more of our patients and the special bond they have with their family. Funds for these stars support our efforts to provide medical care for rescued cats whose owners' hearts are bigger than their wallets. Former receptionist Marcia Trailer created the artwork above the star wall. The cats on the right are dreaming of being big cats on the other side of the rainbow. The little brown cat represents my cat Rudy, who dreamed of being a panther. Let's head into our exam rooms so that you can see where your cat is first seen. As you can see, the Cat Doctor and Friends is a sit-down clinic. The doctor and the client can comfortably sit with the patient between them on the Formica exam table. We use Formica because it's easily cleaned, yet friendlier and warmer than stainless steel. The digital scale is often popular with the cats even after they are weighed. They like the security of the cradle, so we keep it handy. By the way, did you know keeping track of your cat's weight is an excellent way to detect problems early? Another unusual feature of our exam rooms is our otoscopic thermometer. It allows us to screen your cat's temperature quickly and more comfortably by gently inserting it into your cat's ear. My hospital has additional exam rooms, and while each has the same cutting-edge medical equipment, every room has its own artwork and color scheme. Through the doctor's door are the pharmacy and in-house lab areas. Here we see a wide variety of prescription medications, including our favorite flea preventative, Revolution. Revolution also protects against heartworm. On the counter, we find our Abaxis in-house laboratory machines, which can provide our doctors with a complete blood cell count in five minutes and comprehensive blood chemistries in less than 20 minutes. We use our in-house lab primarily for sick patients and those undergoing same-day procedures requiring anesthesia. Wellness lab samples are usually sent to an outside lab to keep our wellness care cost-effective yet comprehensive. Most wellness labs are received and reported to our clients within 24 hours. Can your physician say that? We run a lot of in-house urine analysis, looking for urine crystals or evidence of urinary tract infection. This microscope allows us to look at urine sediments and also to check for ear and skin mites. We also look at cells aspirated from skin lumps to determine their nature so we know how best to treat them. Let's head upstairs to the center of the hospital, our treatment area. This is where your cat will go if they need x-rays, ultrasound, a lab sample drawn, or a dental or surgical procedure. Here is our dental procedure table. Sterilized instruments are used to clean and curette your cat's periodontal pockets. To the right is our x-ray room. Notice the x-ray table with the lead aprons and gloves hanging on the walls. We place a priority on safety for all at the cat doctor and friends. This machine is our digital processor. It manages our radiographs. Radiographs is a fancy term for x-rays. Going digital means we can avoid using film and chemicals while being able to manipulate our images and even email them to specialists. We can also burn images onto a CD for long-term storage or for you to take to a referral appointment. We are looking at images of a cat's chest and abdomen. By enlarging the image, I can see details that I might otherwise miss. Amazing! Next door is our ultrasound room. Our ultrasound sees heavy use, imaging bladders, kidneys, and checking for fetal heartbeats. When Dr. Stowater, our board-certified radiologist, visits on Tuesdays, he brings his state-of-the-art ultrasound machine to do specialty ultrasound exams of the heart, chest, and abdomen. 
This room also comes in handy as a quiet place to check blood pressure with our Doppler unit. Cat's arteries are so small, we have to use tiny cuffs and ultrasonic Doppler to measure blood pressure. Detecting and treating elevated blood pressure in older cats can prevent stroke and blindness. Back into the main treatment room are our ICU cages, including two oxygen cages. Technicians and doctors continuously monitor patients in these cages. The doctor's workstation includes computers, writing space, and easy access to the exam tables. The big white treatment board holds our patient tally and is color-coded by doctor. Next to my desk is the entrance to the hospital ward. Notice how there is always natural light and windows wherever cats are housed here. Each cat has comfortable bedding, a litter box, and frequently changed food and water. On the front of each occupied cage hangs a clipboard with the treatment sheet that details the daily treatments and instructions for that patient, written by the patient's doctor. As each treatment is performed, the doctor, technician, or assistant responsible for that treatment initials it. Good communication is critical to good patient care. There is plenty of room for comments from all our caregivers. Next up, our surgery or operating room, OR for short. We surgeons love it because of the natural light. We have ECG, blood pressure, and pulse oximetry monitoring to help our technician anesthetists with our anesthetized patients. Every anesthetized patient also has an intravenous catheter, or IV, placed to deliver fluids and other necessary medicines. In case of emergency, that IV catheter allows us to act quickly. We use sterile instruments and surgeons' masks, gowns, and gloves, just like a human hospital surgeon does. We'll head back downstairs to see our specialty rooms, acupuncture, rainbow, and isolation. The Zen room is specially designed for acupuncture. Using a bin lined with towels and padding, I place tiny needles into certain locations in my patient to ease pain and inflammation. Next door is our rainbow room, a special room for helping terminally ill cats pass on peacefully and painlessly with their owners present. As you can see, we tried to make it homey. The second door allows clients to privately slip out to the parking lot when they're ready. Next door, far away from the exam rooms and treatment area, is our isolation ward. Our isolation ward is actually two rooms, an outer chamber where we suit up in protective gear and an inner chamber with separate ventilation so we can keep any infectious organisms such as a highly contagious virus or ringworm isolated from the rest of the hospital. A bleach foot bath keeps us from tracking anything in or out. When the patient is here, one technician and one doctor are assigned to monitor that patient to minimize exposure. Here we are in the employee lounge where our two clinic cats, Star and Rosie, like to hang out. They have the run of the hospital, except when we are closed, and then they stay here. We'll head down the hallway now, past storage of our prescription foods, the restrooms and laundry, and head toward the non-medical part of our hospital. First comes our business office, where the cat doctor operations coordinator, bookkeeper, and I work to keep our practice on a steady course, ordering supplies and paying our many vendors. Next up is our doctor's office, where we doctors can review texts, read a veterinary journal, or take a needed nap. Rosie, our Calico Clinic cat, is always ready to help with that. To the right is our playroom, where the cats we show for adoption in our lobby can relax and stretch their legs when we are closed. During the day, boarding cats have fun here. Speaking of boarding, here is our boarding area with a window to the outside and comfortable kitty condos. We can open up compartments, to give each cat even more room when boarding is not fully occupied. And last but not least, our grooming area. A wonderful groomer visits here on selected Fridays for cats only grooming.
Thanks for joining me on this tour of the Cat Doctor and Friends. I've enjoyed showing you my hospital and hope to see you and your kitty soon. Remember, we care for cats and the people who love them.